at long last, I am finally getting the Galactus. Look at that's a great shot. Look how fantastic that looks. Could you even do something like this with the old Galactus? The answer is no, you could not, because it would be vaguely twice the size of this Silver Surfer, not this massive Beastie Boy. Not Beastie Boys the band, please don't sing me. Look how cool he looks up there. <laughs> he barely fits. Let's do some close-ups um, as I step on some toys on the ground. Whoops. So, I'm trying to see if you can see his feet without me knocking anything over. There's his little feet. He's got little boots on. Uh, nice detail. Can we zoom in? There's nice detail. I like it. I like it. Um, maybe let's turn flash on. Okay, there we can see detail a little better. My cat is protesting being locked out of the toy room. Look at this, look at this. All of the, the fashion is what I was gonna say. Uh, all of the detail, this is not fabric. It looks like fabric. They did a really good job with that, but it is not, I almost just knocked him over. Whew. And then you could even like get in about the face. And yes, of course he did come with uh, the two other face plates. One is Doom and one is uh like the skeleton galactus i don't know why i mean i know why they gave us the doom because it happened in like that one issue um there's a lot of other cool stuff that happened with galactus that only lasts like one issue so why did they give us that there's also a little bit of a toy um a toy shelf update and you can see they fit really well let me back out a little they fit really well in his hands you just have to position the hands correctly to get the uh Thing to sit in there right and you can see nova's here she also came with this of course frankie ray and this one also fits in his hands you can see the base of it's kind of funky that's that's exactly that to fit in the hands just like this one they did a fantastic job with all of the different details for her hair and the flames the body is really mediocre to be frank but that's just marvel legends females for you and then there's this guy back here who gives major trypophobia so we're not gonna look at him uh this does light up Let's turn the flash off. Dun dun dun! And I guess it like flickers. I think it turns off on its own. Um, my husband has been like the, the main player <laughs> with this toy. You can see the eyes and everything. Isn't that awesome? Let me zoom in on the eyes. Whoa! Oh, oh, no, it's flashing. Oh, no, he stopped flashing. <laughs> I guess he randomly flashes. Oh. I think he's done. All right, let's turn the light back on. <laughs> but yeah, sick is what we're saying here. He is pretty sick. I think it'll go off on its own in a little bit. You can just ignore him, he's fine. But yeah, this is our setup now. Um, he is obviously a key centerpiece of this part of the shelf. Um, and we have moved pretty much all the Asgardians and cosmic characters. And that is MCU Surter. He just works really well with the comic stuff. Um, and they're all up here around Galactus. Obviously the Watcher watching. That's, you know, his thing, their thing. Um, old Man Thanos, or rather King Thanos. Cosmic Ghost Rider. All these cool, like, futuristic characters. And then the Norse and et al. Guardians. Cosmic folks. Dude! Oh my god. Um, and this is- I've shown a lot of this off. I, th I don't think there's been too many updates since the last time I made a toy collection video like this. There's been a lot of like my husband getting his like his anime characters in, which I watch anime too, but these are not the animes that I watch necessarily. Um, and then we- the rest of the shelving is pretty much I think what it's been since the last time I gave an update. The DC shelf has been cleared out significantly. We no longer have duplicates of characters, uh, except for Batman, apparently. Because, I mean, how many Batmans are there? I cannot say that there are no duplicates for the Dragon Ball Z shelf, because they are only duplicates. <laughs> but we have some women here now, so that's exciting! Where, there's another one, where is she? I thought we had... Android 17 or 18, whichever one it is. Oh, there she is. She's back there. Of course he would put a man right in front of her. I can tell a man set up a shelf. <laughs> Do you see? There's him. 
some fun miscellaneous X figures, and then Daddy Sentinel down here. Um, let me see, does the battery still work? Yeah, Daddy Sentinel. Doing Sentinel shit. See, I let him in and now he's just playing with the door. That one I really like this uh, with Nightcrawler kind of popping in to rescue Professor X. I think that one's super cool. You have extra Sentinel parts on the ground. It's cool stuff. And I have the Sentinel video um, from last year when he showed up. Because the Galactus, I really am not going to go over it really intensively. Um, just because why? <laughs> so many other things that have been that I can go over. And this is like pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Um, based on what you'll see from these shots, you can pretty much imagine what the rest of it will be. And they fixed the knee wobble. There's no knee wobble issues. His joints stick up really, really well. He stands even with the weight at the front when he's holding a character. He still stands. He doesn't fall forward. Um, so it's really, really good. I don't know how they messed up so badly with this year's HasLab idea. <laughs> I mean, I do. It was, it was greed, but yeah. Um, hopefully they'll give us something in exchange to make up for how awful and embarrassing that was as a fan. Uh, you can see some more guys back there. We don't see them nearly as much as we should. They get a little dusty. This Hella, MCU Hella, but again, that head they gave her looks like comic Hella, so we use her as comic Hella. And, yeah. There really isn't that much else to show. And there's a cat on my computer. So yeah, if you want to see, like, the whole the whole thing, that's more or less what our whole setup is. Um, and then there's more up top. <laughs> Uh, see, there are duplicate Batmans, but they're like different universes. And then the Star Wars shelf, we don't need to look at that, that's embarrassing. Um, and then, um, this little alleyway with all of these bad bitches. And then Emma. There's actually several Emma pictures here, but some of them are NSFW, so I can't show you that. Yes! Yes! I just got off work at a 6 a.m. shift. I'm like, I don't know what I'm saying right now. And then like a lot of boxes and stuff have been moved back here. We only keep the SH Figure Arts boxes because we keep all the hands and whatnot in their SH Figure Arts boxes. It's just, it's easier. Um, something I didn't show before. Haha, -ha, this might be my favorite. I mean, this is my favorite part of the Dragon Ball Z display. Beerus and uh, Whis are my figures. I would just like that on the record. He's new. Sell. Sell, right? <laughs> All right. I think that's enough uh, random shots of the toy stuff. I just wanted to make an update and show y'all Galactus because we waited a year for this bitch and we paid a shit ton of money for it. So I'm going to show this bitch off. Hey, guys. And they look awesome down here at the base because they're, they're like pure cosmic characters. Also, what the heck is wrong with them? They have yet to fix the drifting foot issue only one of silver surfer's feet has a peg in it how have they not fixed that issue <laughs> that was one from that was an issue from like every silver surfer they've ever done there's one there there's one here there's one here they all have that same issue where their back foot i think it is or their front foot yeah you can see it there look at that it drifts it just floats because there's no peg come on hasbro <laughs> you have the technology <laughs> Anyway, uh, fuck capitalism and do things you love.